What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to, well, guess what? Another episode of our Pokemon Brilliant Diamond walkthrough. Did you miss me here in the Sinnoh region? I kind of did, too. So, anywho, uh, yeah, this is part of my birthday weekend marathon, and I did say to look out for any kind of surprises that might come here and there, and here it is, guys, birthday weekend marathon with Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. Now, if you guys don't remember, before I went on that long pause to get my uh, studio getting uh, ready, uh, I was actually playing Pokemon Brilliant Diamond, and then from there, I decided to stop because, well, you know what, since we, <laughs> since we already, uh, since we already started a new uh, Act 3 and all that stuff and everything else in between, yeah, you know, maybe I should uh, stop playing Pokemon uh, Brilliant Diamond. But you know what, guys? I, I, I you know, like, if, you, if you've been on my channel quite a few times, you already know that I, I change my mind every single time. So, um, this is one of those times where I decided to just change my mind and say, hey, we're almost done with Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. So I see. Let's go ahead and finish it off. Plus, many of you guys have been asking for it, so uh, it, it wouldn't hurt to it wouldn't hurt to play it or anything. So now it, I had to look back on the whole walkthrough just to see where I was, what I was doing, and all that stuff. Trust me, guys, I did not toy with Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. I didn't play. This is like the first time playing it in quite some time. But here it is, Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. And in our last episode, we actually went into the Celestic Cave right here, and we got to meet Cyrus and all that crud. I think that's what what it is and now it is finally time for us to go straight to the heart home gym because we need a we need another badge and well i don't want to look at my badges right now yeah you know let's look at the badges hold on if i can only get ready let's see um oh view badges okay press y and look at that my badges are dusty af yeah, let's go right ahead and just continue on this game. So now that we are able to go to Heart Home and fight for our next badge, let's go right ahead and just uh, go there. So where the flag lies, that's where we need to be. Let's go to Heart Home and get this going. So again, for those who are new to my channel, yes, while I was, uh, you know, before this whole, before this whole, this whole like pause on my Pokemon Brilliant Diamond, I was actually playing it before I went and got my studio and whatnot. And, uh, well, we were doing such a good job, I think. So here it is, guys. Heart Home City, Gym Leader Fantina, the alluring soulful dancer. Okay, so we gotta shake off the rush just a little bit right here. And, uh, let's see. What do we have? Well, the only man that's ever believed in us, he's like right here. Hey there! How's it going, champ to be? The Gym Leader is a user of ghost-type Pokemon. Beware! Normal moves have no effect at all on ghost-type Pokemon. It's as if you weren't there. But you'll have to see for yourself. Go get him, Challenger. I believe in you. See, the only guy that's ever believed in us, and he's just believing in us right now. So let's go right ahead and take on some uh, some gym leaders right here. And well, let's see. Question one: What is three plus five plus seven? That's pretty simple right there. So that's fifteen. Okay. So the answer will be on whatever direction this. You know it. Yeah, you guys already know what I'm talking about, so it's right here. That is 15. And let's see what right here. Correct! Congratulations! And from there, we get to go to another room. Now, before we go any further, this is kind of bugging me a little. There we go. Alright, so let's see. What's the next one? Question number two. What is 12 plus 28? It's 40, right? 12 plus... Yes, it is. 40. Now, I, I'm, a, I'm only assuming if you get this wrong, you will have to ch challenge someone. So, let's see. Correct. Congratulations. I didn't think we were, we were going to have to use math for this whole situation right here. So, let's go right ahead and uh, move on to the next one right here. And, well, question number three. What is three times 13? Now, yes, I'm going to try and cheat on this one, but it looks like to me it is three. Okay, hold on. Three times 13. That's a 9. Okay, so it's 39. Okay. Or I could just add them, you know. That's pretty much what it is. Okay, so going right here. Correct. Congratulations. It's been a while since I've been in school, but uh, whatever. So let's see. What do we have? Question number 4. What is the first room's answer? It's 15. Okay, so yeah, it, it makes you remember everything, and that, that that's kind of... 
it's kind of annoying but as you can see we didn't have to battle anybody except for Fantina so let's go right ahead and check on our Pokemon so as you can see we still have the same Pokemon We've got Pennywise Rosemon Hydra and Inferno Mon so let's see I gotta there's one thing I didn't check on and that was the moves that I had so let's see yeah it has crunch okay since we're doing this marathon, there's going to be a lot of stuff that's going to be done right here, guys. Um, first, talk to this lady. There she is, twirling. Oh! Finally, you have arrived. Since I came to this region, I always try to learn new things. They hold contest shows in this city. I say myself, and if then, I will ex excel, huh? What is a... That is why I dress this way. She un performance! Also, I study Pokemon very much. I have come to be gym leader, and uh, so it shall be that you challenge me, but I shall win. That is, uh, a gym leader uh, does, uh, non? I don't know. Okay, so she must be from, uh, I guess, Kalos. It's, it's France. Okay, so here it is, guys. Gym battle number five, and we're taking on the beautiful Fantina. She is a ghost-type trainer, and she will be coming out with her own Driflim right here. Which is both ghost and flying type. So yeah, if you guys have an electric type Pokemon, go right ahead. And here comes Hydra. All right, Hydra. It's been a while since we battled. Let's go right ahead and dominate right here. Okay, so let's see. Uh, we do have Ice Beam, which you know it is powerful against a uh, flying type Pokemon. So here we go, Ice Beam, and oh, almost defeated Drifblind. And uh, well, it's a critical hit. Yes, my Pokemon are loving me. So after. A, I think it's been five months, yeah. From what it looked like. Five months since I have actually played this game right here, guys. Um, and this is actually the very first game. Or, no, the very first uh, episode on my new gaming computer. Yes, we all know. Draven, you have a gaming computer, and you're bragging about it all the time. Well, that's because, well... I, I, I like, I mean, I kind of feel like I'm going into the next generation, the next century here, you know. Since I've been in a stone age of uh, YouTubing and all that stuff, been doing it old school. Yeah, my games are looking pretty fantastic right here. Now, another thing too, I'm actually using the Elgato HD, the HD 60s Plus, and this is actually the very first episode with this on Pokemon Brilliant Diamond, and um, you know, it, it's actually looking pretty darn good because, well, I, I've noticed. In the last few episodes of Brilliant Diamond, that yeah, <laughs> there's been a lot of skipping on the on the voiceover stuff. So thankfully, we got the equipment for this. So huh, there you go, more experience points for all our Pokemon. She will be coming out with a Gengar. So let's see. Huh, I thought I had a Psychic type Pokemon in here. Huh. Well, uh, let's see. You know what? Let's go with our Driplim right here. Let's go with Pennywise. Alrighty. Now, another cool thing about this game right here, too, is that, uh, well, about this this walkthrough right here is that, yeah, I will be introducing some new newer Pokemon. Um, while on this five-hour five, five hour break, or not five-hour, but five-month uh, break off from, from this game right here, I've done quite a few things with different games that I had, and uh, I've sent over a lot of Pokemon in my Pokemon bank or school, whatever it's called right there. And I've noticed there are quite a few Pokemon that I want to use or want to bring over to this game right here so I can get things done. Not only that, but uh, yeah, I kind of went through a little bit uh, in my Pokemon uh, Brilliant Pearl or Shining Pearl uh, game. You know, I have I, I bought the other copy and all that crud. And trust me, uh, <laughs> I'm going to need these other Pokemon that I'm going to get. So here we go, Psychic Attack for the win. Eat it, Gengar. That's right. Gengar has been defeated, but we do have a cursed body on us. That will uh, disable something on us right here. And look at that. Toothless has grown to level 35, while Pennywise has grown to level 38. So, let's see. She's about to use Miss Magus. I am going back to Hydra right here. We're going to throw everything in the kitchen sink to try and defeat this lady right here. Alrighty. Bring it. Just bring it. And here she is. She's like, oh, heavens. What is this? Is this my time? Yes, it is. Okay, so here comes Miss Magus. Magius, or something. And this Pokemon is a very, uh, it's a very tricky Pokemon because it likes to mess with you. Um, best way to defeat it, Dark-type Pokemon. And, well, here comes a Dazzling Gleam, 
luckily for us, we are not a dragon type Pokemon or anything like that. And just like that, <laughs> throwing out that peace sign, we have defeated Miss Magius. Okay, so I was actually afraid about that Pokemon. And well, Shell Bell has done us good. All our Pokemon are gaining levels, and yes, I am flexing right now. You are fantastically, fantastically strong. I now, or I know now why I have lost. Because I am awesome. I am fantastically awesome. Okay, I'm dumbfounded. So very, very strong. You, your Pokemon, so strong. Your power is admir admirable. I shall honor it with this gym badge. And there it is, guys, for the first time in five months. We get ourselves a new badge, the Relic Badge. So what a, what a way to start off our little birthday marathon right here. So as you can see, that badge will let you use the hidden move Surf from your Pokétech. Take these technical machines too. I know you'll uh, make a good uh, use of them. And well, we get stickers from Fantina, forgot about that. And we get ourselves the TM65s. And well, as you can see, the TM65 contains Shadow Claw, it's a physical move, critical hits, all that fan fun stuff. Now, let's go ahead and talk to her again. Five gym badges. But you must not forget this, there are many other trainers. Strong trainers too. There are so, mo so many more in Sinnoh. Have patience, you must become stronger at one at a time. What, a, what, good, good, what good advice, what, what brilliant advice right here. So, yes, we're gonna get the heck out of here. And uh, like I said, what a way to start off our birthday marathon right here with a gym battle, a gym win, explanation of why I stopped this game, and uh, well, I don't know, I don't know what else I could say guys. Uh, for those who are wondering when my birthday is, it's July 11th, okay, and I am turning the big 3-2. It kind of, it, it, it kind of dawns on me that like, you know, huh, it, time's going by fast. About a year ago I was doing a marathon, uh, I was doing a marathon on I think Pokemon Moon or something and then prior to that I barely had any birthdays as well as you guys because well you know the pandemic but <laughs> that, that I mean time flies by it really does so after defeating her, uh, the gym leader well hello there Cynthia's here I'm so glad to see you you're not very uh, not a very easy to track down my grandma told me about what took place in Celestic Town Thanks for what you did by the ruins. But that Team Galactic, I thought they were just a bunch of eccentrics. You know, talking about how they are going to make a, a, a new universe and all, and the, way, the weird way they dress too, I thought they were harmless. It appears as if they are not, they're a lot of more trouble than I had thought. I mean, stealing and hoarding Pokemon, that's just plain wrong. By the way, did you find the ruins interesting at all? If you did, you may want to visit the library in Canalave City. They have science or some ancient books that you might find interesting. It may also be of help to, uh, to the completion of your Pokedex. I think you ought to go there. Okay, bye bye for now. Man, I can watch her walk even in chibi form. Okay, so that right there, guys, is our fifth badge. Finally, after, you know, five months and all that crud. Let's see. So let's go ahead and look at these badges. Look at that. Five badges. And yes, I will shine them up at afterwards. Uh, don't worry, guys. Uh, whatever. But we're, uh, yeah. We're going to continue our birthday marathon right here. Remember, uh, I'm actually taking, what, four days off from work, from everything. I've already pre-recorded everything. So the first day right here, I hope you guys enjoy Pokemon Brilliant Diamond uh, Day. Uh... I don't know how many episodes I'm going to be coming out. Depends on how I'm feeling. But thank you guys again for supporting. Thank you guys for being as patient as possible. In the next episode, I do believe we're going to be going to Canalave City. From what it says right there. So, I'll see you guys in the next episode. And by the way, yes, we, we, we're doing this on our, on our Apple computer too. So, uh, yeah, make sure to hit the subscription button, the notification button, all that stuff. And if you guys want to make a small donation to this channel... Links down there in the description below. I'll see you guys next time.